We are in an area called Cito Soleil. It's uh, an area not too far from the hospital where we were yesterday, uh, a hospital that was uh, really, really scrambling to try and get resources, Wolf. Uh, we were really pleased to hear that they put up these tents not too far away from that hospital, these white hospital tents being able to perform medical procedures, surgical procedures. Uh, what we just heard, though, Wolf, and this is of concern, obviously, to a lot of people here, is that the doctors, the nurses, the healthcare professionals are being told uh, to pack up their, their, all their medical supplies and try and get to a secure location. They're being told this by the United Nations. There's concern about riots not too far from here, and this is part of the problem for them, is that they are, want to take care of uh, lots of patients that are actually in the tents and many more patients actually outside, uh, but they simply are being told at this point to stop and to try and get to some sort of secure location, Wolf. What's going to happen with all those patients, all those people who are in such desperate need of medical attention? We've been asking the same question. Uh, most immediate are the patients that are that are waiting. You may see some of the patients uh, even over my shoulder here, Wolf, uh, including a little baby boy over there. Uh, they are watching as uh, the, the healthcare care teams start packing up their goods. I don't know. Uh, this is the same situation that we ran into yesterday. Lots of patients waiting for care and hardly anybody to provide any care or any resources for them. Uh, again, even as I'm talking to you, uh, there are there are cars behind me. Uh, they're starting to pack up uh, their goods in preparation to leave. So th we're, this is sort of going a little bit backwards. There was a little, a lot of excitement about the fact that these tents were going up. But obviously, uh, if, if the, all the healthcare teams leave, uh, along with their supplies, uh, a big problem. I don't know if they're going to establish another location to try and care for people. They're going to try and secure it in some other way. But for right now, some, some at least for the time being, some bad news for these patients. Will. Well, the patients who can't be moved, the, the patients who are lying in bed and broken legs or whatever, are they just going to be there by themselves? Well, I, I don't know, I, I don't, and I don't think they know right now exactly how they're going to handle the situation. I think that they're literally talking to each other, trying to figure out exactly how this is going to work. Uh, they're told that some folks uh, from the United Nations are going to come down here. I don't know if they're simply going to escort these uh, doctors and nurses out of this area to a more secure location, or if they're also going to try and set up a little bit of a, uh, a force here in this particular area to try and take care of these patients. I think it's just unclear. I think everyone is sort of uh, deciding and discussing, even as we speak right now, Wolf. So in other words, there's some ominous indications that people are uh, getting ready to get violent. Is that what I'm hearing from, from you, Sanjay? That's exactly what we're being told, Wolf. In fact, that's coming from the United Nations to these doctors. That's where they're getting their directive. The specific language that was told to me was there was concerns about riots, and there was concerns specifically about the, uh, the uh, gunshots that they could hear off in the distance. Uh, so uh, that's, that's, that seems to be what's happening. But, uh, again, this is all coming in as, uh, as communication to these doctors and nurses, Wolf. Are there enough doctors? Let's assume they could stay. Are there enough doctors and nurses at this one little facility where you are right now that could take care of those people? Well, let me, let me show you. You know, there's actually about five separate tents set up around here. And uh, whether it's enough, uh, the answer to that has to be no. Uh, but you do have a lot more personnel, exponentially more so than you did yesterday, a short distance from here where I was at a hospital where there was essentially one doctor trying to take care of hundreds of patients. So the personnel seems to be here. The supplies were starting to increase in number as well. Pain medications, antibiotics, uh, gauze, dressings, even uh, types of material to try and handle orthopedic injuries. Uh, so that seemed to be improving. But again, this concern about violence uh, not too far away from here. Uh, again, according to the UN, uh, they're, they're telling these doctors to leave and to find a more secure location uh, and, until further notice. I want you to be careful, uh, Sanjay, as you always are. Uh, one final question. I'm getting a lot of email from medical professionals around the country, doctors and nurses, saying they would love to volunteer. They would love to uh, get down to Haiti and help out as best as they can. Is there, is there an opportunity for these people who want to do so to actually do it? I think there's a real need uh, for, for, all, for all kinds of medical uh, help, uh, whether it be personnel or supplies. There is difficulty uh, that I know of actually getting, even if you make it into the airport, actually getting to some of these devastated locations, getting to hospitals that could use help as well. Uh, the coordination has not been great as far as getting people actually to these, to these areas. So uh, while they, it, it's great, I think people helping, it's going to be a little bit frustrating, I think, at least for the next couple of days until a more coordinated plan is in effect. Um, most of the folks that we're seeing that have established tents like this 
this one come from uh, military organizations or from large relief organizations that already had a presence on the ground here in Haiti. So they already had some sort of coordination set up. Sanjay Gupta, be careful over there. We'll check back with you. Thanks very much. I have an important programming note for our viewers. Sanjay Gupta, MD, that's the name of his show, will air live this Saturday morning, 7.30 a.m. Eastern, Sunday morning, 7.30 a.m. Eastern. Sanjay Gupta, MD, two special programs hosted by Dr. Gupta will air live here on CNN Saturday morning and Sunday morning. I think you're going to all want to see it. Sanjay's doing some amazing reporting for us and going beyond amazing reporting. He's also saving lives in the process. All right, Sanjay, thanks very, very much.